The focus of this episode will be the exploration of the Pacific. I'm kind of concerned about what Teddy and the USA are doing because I know they have one of the biggest militaries in the world right now. So in three turns, we will get out our caravel. That's really been also the only source of, uh, of military strength I've been getting out of this game is my navy, uh, which also kind of explains, well, first of all, I've got a horrible uh, military overall, overall, I should say. Well, it's not that bad, 95 compared to other people. Whoa, something happened to China, apparently. Uh, Hojo has been doing bad, and then Arabia is clearly losing their war against the Congo. But this is what I was talking about. I'm pretty sure the USA are number one in terms of... Uh, military strength and things like that uh, but yeah that's part of the reason why I've done so well in this campaign is because I haven't really built much of a military right now okay so I've got a pantheon that I need to choose really quick I have no idea exactly what I'm gonna choose amenities to cities if they have a holy site district I do want something that would increase my amenities because that's like really big problem right now that's like my biggest issue is I know we're not gonna have any amenities uh, wine, incense, cocoa we don't have much of any of this stuff bananas, citrus, cotton we do have a lot of this you know what? Especially in Indonesia, too. Uh, and Papua New Guinea and things like that. Maybe I will go with this. Is there, Wait a second. Is there something desert folklore or something just to make my desert tiles even better? Just just wondering. I figured it's usually yeah, it's usually gone really quickly. All right. Well, never mind. Okay, fine. Food plus camps. No, no. All right. Well, I mean, that would have been pretty cool. City growth rate. Uh, we're not worried about that. Let's just do it. Okay, found this pantheon. This is also going to really help me. Where is that last religion? How has it not been founded? What is going on? This is weird. All right. Okay, so, uh, yeah, we've got some really excellent cities up towards the north, except for this city is doing pretty bad in terms of amenities. We have to kind of be worried about that. Uh, let's get, I guess, more spices online, right? Let's get more spices online. We're going to give this city some wheat. Uh, you're also giving us another boat very soon. And uh, this, is my, this is my precious. This is my baby. I am doing everything I can to make this city amazing because uh, in a few turns, let's see here, holy side adjacency bonus, I don't think so. Don't want any of that, don't need any of that. I am going to get guilds. So uh, we should be able to build six farms, build two markets. I've got one market. You know, that's somewhat achievable. I don't know where the other market, uh, so yeah, I've got, here's the other market right here. It's going to be finished. I thought I had another one, but maybe I don't. And uh, I'm investing heavily in Jakarta because obviously their strategic position is uh, it's very important that they stay, you know, we stay cool with them. Okay, let's also put a lumber mill on top of this, on top of this forest because that is the only source of, of production that city has. Yeah, we're suffering from some housing issues. In All right, yeah, so we need to worry about that a little bit. Um, okay, so how are we doing? What do we really need right now? In terms of science, not too much. Let's just go military tactics, I guess, because we won't be able to boost that. And uh, commercial hub isn't terrible. You built... Okay, good. So we have... We're getting extra amenities. Okay, you know what? I think the number one concern here is that you don't have much housing. We actually might want to build an encampment just for the the housing bonuses that probably isn't a bad idea i think that might be the only route we can go because there's no you have no river uh next to you so there's no opportunity for an aqueduct all right well i guess so yeah i mean they're suggesting it too i don't really want to use one of my desert tiles to be honest with you though um well we've got plenty of money i could purchase oh i can't i can't work it out here uh, well, I just need to suck it up, Drew. I'm gonna need to suck it up. The city's gonna be great. It's gonna have tons of tons of places for me to improve, so I should not be... I, I really should... Wait, 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 hold on. We want to make sure the appeal is low, though. That's, like, pretty important. Appeal is high. Okay, so we've got some grayed out areas here. Uh, yeah, because I... Remember, I get a bonus... Pretty good bonuses for... Yeah, we'll build it here, I guess. Wait, I would like it next to the coast, just in case. Boom. Uh, yeah, we get adjacency bonuses for appeal. Okay, so what is this? Coal? Do we find coal? Uh, niter. Oh, it's underneath here. Does that mean we get access to it? Yeah. Oh, yeah. I would never really thought about that, building a district over a, a resource. Huh. Never really... Yeah, that's weird that that never dawned on me before. Well, yeah, that's, uh, that's something Cracklord tends to do. Okay. So you built me my caravel. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Wouldn't mind another builder, to be honest. You know what? We could anticipate a good position. You know, I'm a ghost settler. I know I'm crazy for that, but turn 136, I'm trying to settle all these cities. I, that's, it's it's much. It's a little bit much, but yeah, I think it's good. All right. Do we want a water mill? 
I guess so, because you can't really build anything else in a in a timely matter manner. So we'll improve. Yeah, let's improve the land resources first. Okay, so Caravel time. Finally, let's figure out what's going on in New Zealand. So, uh, of course, the devs, developers clearly have given us a ton of sheep resources to put down a bunch of pastures. That is, seems pretty much a common theme. No. No, thank you. Yeah, no, no, I'm good. I'm good. Thank you very much. Uh, great merchant. Yes, I'm the only one that's generating this stuff. Okay, so what does this do? Trade route capacity by one. Okay, nice. Plus two gold for... Okay, good, good. Okay, so I'm going to recruit that. And uh, we'll figure out where we want to put that at. Boom. Let's put some irrigation on those bananas. Uh, you know what? We want to switch this back to this city. This is the city... The only city I care about is this city here. Um, so what do I have to do? Must be built on a commercial hub. I think we have to build it here. I could wait two turns, but let's build it in the capital. Yeah, let's definitely build it in the capital. So what's going on here? What is going on? Is this... Yeah, this is pretty small. Ooh. So we would be lucky to maybe just build one city here. I figure... I don't know how big the North Island would be or the South Island. Clearly, uh, there's not going to be much room for things to do. To Yeah, things that I can do. I'm going to work the copper resource. Oh. Is there something else here? This kind of sucks. Um, I guess I will go to you know what? Just just to kind of put some put a road down. I'll go to Hobart because it's all the same yields. Let's do that. Nothing really. That's all you're gonna give me, New Zealand? Well, let's go check out Hawaii. Obviously, South America. Okay, so grants a free trader unit uh, and increases trade route capacity by one. Foreign trade routes to the city provide. Oh, there we go. That's cool. I guess there would be kind of a reason to build it up here, but we don't have a commercial hub anyways uh, for that spot, so it's fine. And, uh, you know, this last one we might just want to try. I don't think it's really necessary because we know the yield isn't going to be that good. It's probably not even worth it. Extra, a little bit of extra food. But if we're going to do it, let's do it now. I think this position probably, because, you know, our trade routes aren't that extended, I guess, so it would be even better if we were... To do an international trade route from that city itself. I know someone required me to build two markets, so let's just build another market. Unless I can purchase it, I can. I'm going to purchase it. Bam. So that's exactly what I wanted. Uh, we wanted. We needed to build six farms. Didn't end up doing that. I should have done that. But there's so many other things that I was also doing. Uh, a harbor would be good for this city because that will also give us opportunities for extra housing. Uh, culture and amenities are extended to each city. Oh, 33. That's not horrible. Oh, here we go. We got another trader. That's right. A lot of trade route opportunities. Uh, you can build an aqueduct. How bad? Okay, things are not super good here. And your housing isn't very good either. You know, you could use a lighthouse. Yeah, I'll go with a lighthouse there. 67 gold per turn. And, uh, and nothing is international. No routes have been made international. Here we go. Here's some production back. I can trade with this guy now, finally. Okay, that's good. Alright, well, let's go figure out what's going on. I think I'll go to South America first. I don't know how this map is going to be, you know, positioned. We've played many uh, maps inside of the Civilization series. It's, you know, in order to fit everything on a, on a 2D map plane, you know, everything is, is all weird. Maps are weird because the Earth is circular. Uh, so I don't exactly know where Hawaii is going to be or where South America is going to be adjacent to that. So it, it could be could be a number of factors here. I guess we'll just kind of go straight across, maybe a little bit up. It's probably right here, I'm assuming. Military tactics, feudalism in one turn. Where is it? Whoa, the Pacific is pretty large in this map. I'm really surprised that we'd have to go out this far. Because that's usually where they cut into, is they cut the, the Pacific, a, a lot of the Pacific out. You know, this might be a really good thing. Get that extra... Ooh, yeah, I think I do want this. Alright, let's do it. So we want to start buying builders, though. Not not building them anymore, at least. Because I'm not getting the production towards builders, so... Let's do that. Newly trained builders gain two extra build actions. Yeah, let's do that. This might not be bad, either. I wouldn't make as much gold. I like the gold that I'm making. Let's Let's stay. Let's stay with it. Okay. 
where the heck is South America? This is so weird. <laughs> this is really, really weird. Um, I guess I'm going to settle New Zealand since strategy requires, strategy we definitely don't have any other spots. Okay. And uh, stirrups, I guess, only four turns. I like that. Oh, education, though. Universities earn a great scientist. Haven't done that. Let's give it some time, maybe, with time. You're still not growing. I guess that shouldn't be super surprising. Can I purchase a builder yet? No. Okay, well, we're going to build more boats. I think just build it. Yeah, just build another caravel for me. Just keep me safe. What's going to give me housing? Well, you get production out of this too, which is great. Yeah, let's go barracks. Let's go to the barracks. I guess this is where we're going. I mean, there's no other... We can go after, like, the Philippines. No real position there. I mean, there's some spots up this way, but... We have to settle New Zealand. What Australian campaign? This can't be an Australian campaign. I'll, you know, it's going to make the New Zealanders unhappy. Um, me uh, as Australia colonizing their, uh, their lands. But, you know, I know there's a rivalry there. But we still have to do it. We still have to do it. Okay. What are you going to give me? You're going to give me iron and open borders. That's horrible. I love that. I love that. It's very... Yeah, that's, I feel like, an appropriate response to a lot of things. Okay, so here's South America. I guess I don't have to. Man, there are some amazing resources here. You know, I bet you they made it like that. Yeah, this is... Yeah, I've got to colonize New Zealand no matter what I see over here. But, man, this is nice. There is Brazil. Okay, so there's Brazil. Where now? How is North America going to look like? This is really interesting. Part of the exciting part about this is is how Fraxis made the map. I think that's one of the more exciting aspects here. Okay, do you need extra housing? You do. Okay, so now I guess is the time for you to build a lighthouse. You could use the food too. I want you to build the industrial zone. I think this city could be a a good production city. Now we can go with an armory. Which gives you even more production. But I think I want the harbor next. Man, you are doing really well. Wait, can I build it? Oh, it has to be adjacent. That's right. All right, then just build it here. You build that there. Do we have any good opportunities for a campus? Over out on this island, which is by itself too. All right, boom, bye. And uh, we don't have the, the money for a builder just yet. But we want to get one of those out. Yeah, no, I'm going to keep checking. We're making the city really, really good, which is great. Galapagos Islands, that's right. So, plus two science for adjacent tiles. That would be kind of nice, I guess. Uh, how are we doing? Okay, so four... That's not a good enough deal. Oh, here we go. Okay, that's right. I have not done this in a while. But, um, bam, bam. Come on. Come on. Okay, wait. That's not that bad. Okay, I can take that. I can take that. It's pretty important, especially as I continue to... I'm going to colonize your land, too. So we're going to come after you, Brazil. Just the number of resources out there. It's hard to pass up silver and just so many unique stuff. So there's only really one more... I don't even know if it's worth it, but I'll do it one more just to really get the city doing great things. And then, yeah, I'm going to slap this down on top of the iron. That way I still get all these these pastures. This is really not the greatest position for a city, but I have to do it. I honestly have to do it. Okay, so we'll go with a monument here. Yeah, it's pretty bad. Leventa, you are a faith city-state. You didn't get taken down. That's good. Uh, no, no. I think we're less focused on, like, trade for money. You can't go around I need to be more focused back focusing on uh, trade for luxury resources. All right. So, I've got some commercial districts that I could definitely use. I think I want to keep all this. Yeah, I still want to stay with this. And uh, next up, okay, now who needs the builder the most? Maybe this city? No. Not yet. Wait a second. Do we have it yet? Oh, I think we got it. Yes, we do. We just got guilds. So, let's go with a monarchy so I can get a better government. Build two temples. Not going to happen. Bam. Builder time, baby. Oh, yes. Oh, this is going to be good. Should I? I don't even know if I want to waste the space for an aqueduct. 
really skeptical on what district I want to build for this city because it's just doing so well food wise. Uh, you know, I yeah, I don't know. I guess keep building me, just keep building me boats, man. Just to stay safe, keep building boats. 30 turns, is it worth it? Yeah, I think it is worth it. Just slap it down, like, right here. Let's do another, in I'm playing safe. I'm playing safe with it, but I need, yeah, I need to do it. Okay, so I could send these guys out to explore. You know what? I'm going to do a little bit. I'm only going to send a few out, though. Uh, maybe not even a few, just just that one, I think. I want to keep, I got to keep some at home. I've got to keep some at home. Okay, so there we go. Continue to Newcastle. And uh, we are about to make these tiles incredible, I think. I hope so. So here's Baja, California. There's some jade in Baja. Maybe going after North America isn't a, isn't a super bad idea. Keep on going, Jakarta. Yes. Make me happy, Jakarta. So this is going to give us plus production and uh, two food and housing. So let's look at these tiles now. That is what it's going to look like. That's what this entire city is going to look like. All around. Oh man, that is pretty amazing. That is going to be great. Okay. Okay, let's get you up here quickly. Very quickly. We need someone to go after Europe. I really want to see what's going on in Europe right now. Okay, you keep going there. Oh, so I can put now, wait a second, what's more useful, a mine? Let's check, because we can now, we can kind of check and see. So it depends. So basically the same exact thing, except, you know, food. Do we want a food bonus, or do we want a production bonus? Probably the production bonus, because you, you will have a production problem. So we need to slap down every mine that we can. There's less hill tiles. I don't think I've heard this Brazil theme, have I? I don't think I have. This sounds good. Yeah, so for the desert mine, the desert hills. Is this? This is new. This sounds a lot like the Godfather theme to me. No, don't put that. I was, I was distracted by the song. Okay. Yeah, this sounded like the Godfather for a split second. Okay, so let's go find Hawaii. I think that's next. I don't know what I'm going to do with Perth, man. I don't know. Okay, good. So let's just send you out exploring, doing whatever you want. Let's go. Let's go lighthouse. I don't know why Brazil would be doing the Godfather theme though. So maybe I should have thought about that. Okay. Anyways, let's ignore <laughs> what's going on, Drew. Okay. So I think I talked about how I didn't want to slap down a campus. I do want a commercial hub. Yeah. I really hate replacing these tiles now. I kind of don't want to replace them with the district just yet. Now, a Coliseum would work. Plus three amenities from entertainment. Oh, that would be so cool. Maybe we can. It's going to take 10 turns. I think that's worth it. And, that may, and then I can worry less about trading for amenities to the AI. Amenities for amenities and, and just trade gold. So I think that would be a good plan. I'm very careful with what I what I do over my desert tiles because I just it really needs to be good because I just know the importance of of how my city can look. Okay, so anyways, um, we will come back in the next video. I guess you go with the trader. Let's do one more. Look at that! Look at that! I'm just oh my gosh! Whoa! That's right because you get an adjacent bonus, right? Yeah, because you are adjacent to all of these pastures holy crap this is amazing this is amazing oh man that is uh that is quite the same i haven't even fi finished it out yet i haven't even finished it that's gonna be awesome now we definitely need to start thinking about a victory type here uh i know that i haven't really thought about that or talked about that much but um we'll have to start to address what we think is best but anyways guys thank you so much for watching and i'll see you guys next time